just don't worry about the alert problem. It's going to give you an ellipse, which in, I, the more I kind of go into thinking about it, we're not really going to get into the ellipse at all. So you're mostly going to only be able to deal with this. So again, the same thought theory, though, goes on. We have our cosine of theta squared plus sine squared of theta is equal to 1. x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. So in this problem, we want to solve for cosine, right? We really want to solve for t, like we did over here, right? And here we solve for t and plugged into the other equation. Here we solve for t plugged into the other equation. Well, here we can't really solve for t. Well, we could, but we don't really want to solve for t. But we can solve for cosine of t and sine of t, right? So all we need to do for that is just divide by 3. Divide by 3. So cosine of t equals x over 3. That was really loud. Sine of t equals y over 3. Would you guys agree with me? So instead of saying that theta, using theta, we could use t. So in reality, all I simply am doing is I'm replacing this cosine of t with x over 3. And when I do that, I get x squared over 9 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. And then if I'm looking for this, uh, when we're doing a circle, what we want to do is get rid of the we multiply by 9 on both sides. And you get x squared plus y squared equals 9. And furthermore, if you guys remember that equation I wrote there, if x squared plus y squared equals 9, that means it's a circle with a radius of 3. three right? And that was from your old geometry days. <laughs>